Hello friends, today I'm going to solve Likud problem number 2215, find the difference of two arrays. In this problem, we are given two arrays, nums1 and nums2, both of them consist of integers and we need to return a new array which is of size 2. And this array also consists of two elements. Uh, which are both array so the first element is a list of all the distinct integers which are present in nums1 but not present in nums2 similarly the second element in our answer array should be a list of all the distinct integers in nums2 but not present in nums1 okay so here we are given an example so in this example we can see that one two three right from these three elements 2 is the element which is present in nums2, right? So we just take value 1 and 3 as our first element in um, as the list in, is as the list as the element in our first uh, like array list, right? And similarly for uh, nums2, 2 is present in nums1 as we already saw, right? But 4 and 6 are not present in nums1. So we create a new list for 4 and 6 and we add that to our answer list and that is what we return, okay? Similarly here in this case, so we have 1, 2 and 3, 3, right? So in nums1, we know that 1 is present here in nums2, 2 is also present in nums2, right? So 3 is not present, so we just add three only one value of three since there are two threes but we only add one value because it said that it consists of um, distinct integers right so that should be unique there should not be any duplicates so we just have one three here and now for nums two we know that one and two both are present in nums one so it is just an empty array and that is what our answer is okay so now let's see how we could solve this problem okay so let's take this example and try to solve this example so let's first use a brute force solution so for a brute force solution what would we do is to check the element 1 is present in nums2 or not, we would first compare 1 with the first element in nums1 and it's not equal so we then compare with the second element and then we compare it with the last element. Since none of the elements match with the value 1, that is when we add the value 1 to our data structure okay next we compare next element of nums1 with all of the other elements of nums2 okay so we start from the first we compare it with two it's equal right so we just break there and then we are not adding it and it in our resulting um, data structure now we compare the third element of nums1 with all of the elements and then we know that it's not present so we now add it to our data structure and that would be our uh that would be used to create our list okay so why am i creating um set here i'll just let you know in a while okay now let's let's do it for nums2 okay so for nums2 also we will have to do the same thing in brute force so we'll compare all of the elements in nums2 so we have the value 2 since we know 2 is uh present in nums1 so we just uh, don't add 2 to our resulting array next we compare 4 with all of the elements and then we know that it's not present so we add it to our resulting data structure same with 6 we compare it with all of the elements and then we add it to our resulting data structure and this will be used to create the list of elements distinct in nums2 which are not present in nums1 and that would be our resulting answer now why did i create a set to store our elements here okay so we saw that in this example we had three two uh, two threes right but we only have one three here in the output what would have happened if we stored our elements in a data structure which was an array and not a set so if we would store a data structure let's suppose we had a three here okay so we know that one three are not present so we would add one to our array we would add a three so one and three okay 
till now both of them are same now we again compare this element 3 and we know that 3 is not present in nums2 so we would add that 3 in our array but in case of set set doesn't accept duplicate only unique elements are present in set so even though we try to add 3 we will only have one value of 3 in the set so our result will only have one and three we, it wouldn't have one three three okay so that is why we are creating a set and from our set we would create an array so that would only result in one value of three okay so we wouldn't have two values of three so that was the reason why we used a set now let's check the time complexity since we are comparing all the elements of nums1 with nums2 and then all the elements of nums2 with nums1 um so that would result in a time complexity of n times m is there a way we could solve this in a less time complexity yes there is if we used a set we know that a uh, lookup operation in a set is only o of one time complexity but in an array it is o of n time complexity right let's me let me show you with an example okay so i'm just creating a set of nums2 so it will have values 2 4 and 6 so whenever i need to check if one is present in this set let me represent it as set 2 what i just do is um, I just have to use the function has okay set has a function has where I can check if set 2 has the element 1 or not and that would result give me the result in O of 1 time complexity if I were comparing it with set I would have to compare with all the elements right that would have been O of n o of m if this is m then that would have been o of m right but since i'm using set it would give me o in o of one time complexity so for comparing each of the element that would just re result me in o of n time complexity while i'm comparing with this and similarly while i'm comparing for norms two it would be only o of m so the total time complexity would be o of n plus o of m okay so that is how i'm gonna solve this problem i'm just going to create two sets for nums1 and nums2 and then i'm going to compare the elements of nums1 with the set of nums2 and the element of nums2 with the set that i create for nums1 okay and then finally um, after the comparison we will get the set will store the result in our set and then the resulting set I'm going to com convert it into an array and that array will be pushed to our resulting answer okay so we'll have two arrays <clears throat> array one with only the elements of nums1 which are not in nums2 and array 2 which will have only elements of nums2 which are not present in nums1 so let's go back to our code and try to solve it so let's create our first array that would i mean set that would be set one it would be equals to set so we could just use this operation to uh, construct our set from an array so that's quite easy now once we have created our set for each of the arrays now let's compare okay let us create only nums1 set so this will not have the values that are in nums2 and only nums2 which is a set which would have the value that are distinct for um, nums2 only okay now we create we do a for operation for let nums one okay let num of nums one and we check if um set two has the value num then um then what are we going to do is we are going to okay if it has it
okay we actually do not need this we would just if the element is present in nums2 as well so that would mean that the element is present both in nums1 and nums2 so we are just deleting it from both of the arrays both of the sets so set one dot delete how delete it from our set one and similarly set to the delete how to delete the num from the set to as well so now after this operation set one and set two will only have the um values which are which are distinct okay so finally now we are going to uh, return our array which only has the value that are in set one and that are in set two okay so we actually create an array out of set using other spread operator okay so now let's try to run our code and see if it works okay it's throwing me an error at line Ah, okay, not this way. So what this spread operator does is it's destructuring all of the elements in the set. And then we are creating an array out of all those elements, right? So that is why we have this uh, square bra bracket here. Now let's try to run it. Okay, it gave me a wrong answer. Uh, okay, I should compare it with Mums1. All right, now let's try to submit this. Great, so now here, if you would check the time complexity, then um, since we are using for loop, that would be of n. And again, here we are creating a array of a set out of norms one, right? So that would be O of n and a set out of norms two that would be O of m. So total time complexity is O of n plus m and the space complexity is uh, since we are using a set for both um, norms one and norms two so that would also be O of n plus m. Hope you like my solution. Let me know if you have any questions, any queries in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel for more LitCode daily challenges. Thank you.